everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So today I'm going to be showing you some tags I've made, how to make some simple tags, and I'm going to be talking about some of the lessons and things I'm going to be teaching in the future. One of the things that I want to show you, um, the holidays are going to be here before we know it, and so as we get closer to Christmas, I will be teaching you how to make this little box of tags. It's a box that you can keep for yourself, keep in with your gift wrapping, pull out as soon as you are ready to start making or wrapping up your gifts, or it's something that you can give as a gift. It is a really cute gift and it says joy on the front and inside it's full of gift tags. So this is something I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek of something that we're going to be making in the future. Um, I have made these and given these as gifts in the past and people love them. They are wonderful because everybody needs gift tags, everyone buys gift tags, but a homemade gift tag on a gift is really, really special. So when people have a homemade um, tag that they can add to a gift, it just makes them feel really good when they're wrapping a present for somebody. So this is something that we're going to be doing in the future. Um, we're also going to be, I have a lot of different ideas about different ornaments that you can make. Some really cute, unique ornaments using things that you would never, ever even think to use. Um, the other thing we're going to be doing is, I'm not sure um, if any of you have heard of a Cricut, some of you probably have one, but we're going to be doing some lessons on how to use your Cricut, how to attach it to a computer, and use software that will allow you to cut anything. A lot of people think that they have to buy cartridges just for that one little shape or that one little item that they want, um, but that's absolutely untrue. There are a lot of different things you can do with your Cricut and cut amazing things. And one of the things that I have found um, to cut are tags. I love making homemade tags to add to gifts and using your Cricut and attaching it to the internet, you can find different shapes and make them different sizes and create all kinds of tags. So for example, this is one I have found a scalloped heart and then I've found a smooth heart to go right in the center and I have just stamped a tree with some little birds in the middle and added my baker's twine. Really easy, really cute, simple to add to a Valentine's gift, anniversary, wedding, birthday. The other thing that I used in these tags, if you can see, is there's a little bit of glitter on the hearts, and I used stickles. These are my other favorite thing. We're going to be using these a little bit more as we get closer to the holidays as well. You can get them in all different colors, and they are amazing. They dry really quickly. Um, it is a great alternative to actually using glitter, which gets everywhere. These are glitter glues that dry quickly and don't make a mess. So keep those in mind. If you're looking for things to buy for future lessons, stickles are something that would be an awesome idea to have on hand because I'll be using those a lot, especially around the holidays. So back to my Cricut and tag making. So you can make all different shapes with your Cricut if you know how to use it. One of the shapes that I have here, let me just find a white piece of paper so you can see it, is a Christmas tree. I didn't have to buy a cartridge to cut out this Christmas tree. I was able to find it online, attach my Cricut to my computer, and cut it out. I can make large Christmas trees, small, as skinny, or as wide as I want. All I have to do is find the initial shape. Additionally, you can make different shapes of tags that then you can layer like this. With a solid on the back, you can either add your um, message on the back or you can find a cute heart. Let me see if I can find a red one here. Here's blue. You can find a cute heart, put it on the front, and you can put your message there. The other thing I love is a really cute little to and from stamp. That's something that you absolutely should have on hand when making tags. Um, it makes it really, really quick and easy to just stamp on there, write who it's to, write who it's from, and add it to a package. So I have some other samples. The other thing that I've cut is just a standard shaped tag, um, which you can do a lot of different things with for all different types of packages. 
But you can also do a round scallop tag. This is a round scallop tag that I've stamped some bells on and then used my stickles to give it a little shimmer. Um, you can use a white background and you can stamp to and from, you can make it simple, you can change the colors. Tags are really, really awesome. And there are a lot of things that you can do with them. This is a layered tag that I created. It has a some stamping that I've cut out and layered onto the tag. Let me take it out of its bag so that you can see it more clearly. And then I've just added the ribbon to it at the top. And so that's a little more of an in-depth tag, but there are all different things that you can do. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, this is obviously one that I made without a Cricut. I just used my um, scalloped deco edge scissors on the edges here. And then these I cut and colored in and glued them on. So as we get closer to the holidays, we're going to be making all kinds of really exciting things. We're gonna be making some jewelry. I have a lot of jewelry ideas um, that we'll be putting together. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make some little gift boxes. These gift boxes just are really easy to put together. They fold flat, but then they have these little pieces that you put together on the bottom to make the box. And then the top folds over and you close it with a ribbon. And you can use it for a little gift card, um, jewelry, a set of tags, all kinds of small little items that can go in these, which will be really, really fun to wrap and put under your tree as we get closer to the holidays. So don't forget to check back for all of the fun things that we're gonna be making together. Um, as we get closer to um, September and October, I'm gonna start putting out some of my ideas for holiday gifts so that you can start working on them early, have your gifts made ahead of time, and give everybody something a little bit special and handmade from you and your home this year. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't forget to click the thumbs up like button. Comments below on any other things that you'd like to see me make or show over the next several months. Um, thanks again for coming back for another craft video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I love crafting.